What's up everybody? Welcome back for another video. This video is going to cover 10 board games that you can find at your local thrift stores, your online marketplaces, you can even find some of these at garage sales. You might even have some of these sitting around your house. And they sell for well over $50 on eBay, pre-owned. So stick around, learn something. That's the point to the channel. Okay, what's up guys? Before we jump into the 10 games uh, that I'm going to show you in this video, I'm going to quickly show you the search parameters that I use. Because when you're searching on eBay, it is important to understand the prices that are actively listed for people to buy. But it's also important to understand, and in my opinion, a little bit more important to understand the sold listings prices, because this has given you an idea of what people are actually paying for it. Items that have recently sold. So on the left hand side, I scroll down to condition, I hit used. Used is the condition you're typically going to find these in if you're out at a thrift store or a garage sale or, or buying something out of, out of a local marketplace. I scroll down to buy in format and I click buy it now. This is just going to show up to uh, give me listings basically that people just clicked it, seen it and bought it. And then the last thing I click is sold items on the left there. And when you click sold items, completed items are going to show up. If you don't click sold items, you're going to get a mixture of sold items and active items, and the prices are going to be all over the place. So that's what I set up for every single search listing that I do when I'm searching for sold items on eBay for any category. Unless I have an, uh, you know, if you have a link to something brand new, then you can obviously search for new items. But for this, we're searching for used because, like I said, that's usually what we find in the stores. So the first game is Axes and Allies. This game is made by Avalon Hill. And just like many games I'm going to show you in this video, there's multiple different versions. Each version is going to net you a decent profit, but there's different versions. I'm not going to click on the game and, and go through the descriptions and all that stuff. You guys can do that in your own spare time. These videos are supposed to, A, give you extra ammunition for when you're shopping so that you can take notes, write down these games and do your own research on top of that. And B, it's to prompt you to do your own sold listings research anyways. So I'm not going to click to open all these up, but I'm going to go through them, show you the prices, and then you guys can take your notes and, and try to remember these for next time you go out shopping. So as you can see here, the top one, 6513. This is a 1939 to 1945 starter set. Uh, this one down here, 200 plus axes and allies miniatures lot. Um, they must have just a whole bunch of different pieces from games. You can sell them too. If you if you go to a store and you buy a game that's worth a lot of money and it's not complete, you can oftentimes sell the pieces individually from the games. Um, obviously, you want to look for completed games. You're going to get the most money for them. So scrolling down here, Axes and Allies again, Control the Fate of the World, 2004 Revised Edition, Avalon Hill, 7320. Underneath that, Milton Bradley, Vintage, 1984, 7158. Now they did take a best offer on that one, so I don't know what the true sale price is. Underneath it, 100 random pieces, $91. This one underneath that, 4559, complete, great condition, 2000 version. And then the one underneath that, 1984 Vintage Game Master Series in World War II. So just underneath that one is the Milton Bradley 1984 Vintage Game Master Series, 5471. So as you can see, you're not really going to go wrong as long as you find those. Anything you find, Axes and Allies, you're pretty much a safe bet to pick it up. Okay, so the second one we're going to talk about is Dark Souls. This board game I found at a value village and uh, I sold it for way less than I should have. Um, you see this guy here sold his for 185. I sold mine for 65. I took an offer and sold it for way less. So this one just sold uh, August 30th, which is today. So it just sold today for $185 pre-owned. And as you scroll down, there's Dark Souls 1, there's Dark Souls 2, there's multiple versions again, but 84.52. This one, this is the old Iron King expansion, unpunched, unused, rare version board game. $325.62. So imagine coming across that out at a local thrift store for $25. This one took an offer. And now you're selling pieces 
from the board game. $61, $61, $49. It's pretty wild. Board games are, are one of my favorite um, niches to sell in. If I find a good game, I will either scan it for my Amazon app, see if I'm allowed to sell it on there because they do sell for a bit higher over on Amazon. And if I can't sell it there, if I'm gated, I will sell it over on eBay. Okay, number three we're going to talk about today is Monopoly. And Monopoly, again, comes in multiple different variations, different themes. Anything that has special additions to it, you're going to get some money for them. This one here, Coraline, Monopoly board game. This one's over 52. This one underneath it, oh, this is a good one. See, this is something else you can look for. So this, these, this person here sold seven different games for $97. You could easily sell those for $25, $30, $40, $50 dollars a piece and you would profit off just buying that lot. Underneath this, we got a lot of um, Operation and Simpsons Monopoly. Simpsons games are actually something I'm going to be talking about coming up. They're games that sell for a lot of money as well, just because of the theme, and they're very popular. So we've got Pokemon Monopoly, 4567. We've got the U.S. Marines Edition, Hasbro, 6511. Rare Monopoly board game, special edition, $68. So again, I could do this all day. You know, 83, 52. So clearly Monopoly is another winner, guys. Take notes on these games and, and search them out. You know, go look at your Facebook marketplace, look in Kijiji, check it out. You'll find these games. Go buy them, bring them home and sell them. Next game to be on the lookout for is Lord of the Rings. You have... Journeys in the Middle Earth, sealed contents never played. So the game has clearly been opened, meaning there's no outer wrapping on it. So you can't sell that as new, but the inside contents have never been used. That was a best offer on a $99 listing price. This one here, FFG Middle Earth, uh, Quest LOTR board game, $130. Next one, best offer on an 84 listing. $60.91 for an expansion pack, Trilogy Edition, $45. You're just going to continuously be on the lookout for anything Lord of the Rings as well. So the next one we're going to talk about is Risk. And again, multiple variations, all selling for decent money. So this one here, you got Halo, selling for $45. Godstorm board game, selling for $58. StarCraft Collector's Edition board game, sold for a best offer. Rustic Risk, Best Offer, Star Wars Clone Wars, and Battle for Naboo. So you got two games. They sold them for $49.50. Zombies Unused, $71.63. Lord of the Rings Trilogy Edition board game, 2003, $45. Uh, the next one here, Star Trek board game. And again, $325, $115. And these ones were best offers, 6511, a risk Star Trek 50th anniversary, $65, Wiz Kids board game from Star Trek, 97, Clue, Supernatural, that one I have no idea why it showed up, but still, that's another one that, uh, you know, isn't on the list to talk about today, but Clue is another great game. So I'm not sure why that one showed up under Star Trek, but uh, another good game to be on the lookout, guys, is Clue. So we got another Star Trek game here. Uh, Catan, $84. And then we got a Panic Strategy board game here, $52. Star Trek Settler, Settlers of Catan board game, $83. You know what? While we're here, let's talk about Settlers of Catan. So that's another one that you guys can buy and sell for a lot of money, upwards to 100 or more. So there's two bonus games for you. The next one we're going to talk about is Life. Anything you see in life, again, special editions or just regular version, is going to make you some money. 5861, 6092, $52, $49. You see the pattern here, 76, 54, $45, $45, $52. So look, be on the lookout for life too, guys. Okay, so we're on to the Simpsons now. We we briefly spoke about this one before. Again, same thing. There's going to be multiple variations. Some are going to be worth more than others, but pretty much anything with the Simpsons theme on it is going to net you some good profit. So we've got the Monopoly Simpsons Treehouse of Horror Collections game here. 
66.94. Underneath, we have another uh, lot of two games. We got Sorry and Clue. They took a best offer on a 53.37 listing. Not sure what it actually sold for. Simpsons Treehouse of Horror again for 104. So you can see how they're changing in price from one person to another. I would list mine around $80, considering one sold for 50 and one sold for 100. Simpsons Monopoly, electric banking board game, $53 listing, took a best offer. They also paid $65 in shipping. So take that into consideration too. And there's the Treehouse of Horror again. So you're seeing this one again, multiple times selling for great money. So you're almost guaranteed that the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror Collections Edition Monopoly game is going to net you some money. If you see that, it's a surefire thing. You buy that game, you bring it home and you make some profit. Okay, this next game is Robo Rally. And I have found this multiple times. I've sold this game at least three times, I think, on uh, eBay. And I've sold a couple locally as well. Um, Robo Rally. So this one here, 2005, $51.95. The one underneath that is a 2015 edition, sold for $68. Beneath that, 2005 again, $69.04. Right underneath that is the exact same game, $71.64. And then here's a different version. 110 yet another version 6513 okay and the very last game that i'm going to talk about in this video and again you guys are more than welcome to go do your own research and you will find a ton more games i just tried to narrow it down to games that i've personally found or that i know are more available this game is robert kiyosaki's cash flow so there's cash flow the normal game and there's cash flow for kids any one of these games you're going to be absolutely fine with selling very fast and making money off it as well so this one sold for 5861 and there's only two versions i believe of this game um so these ones here you got they're the same games 46 dollars 49 48 49 48 45 59 see if we can find a, a kids version one. Oh, there's another one Cash flow, get out the rat race, 65.13. So there's the cash flow for kids board game. So this is his, his cash flow game that he's dumbed down and kind of made it for kids. So teaching kids about money, I think is very important these days. A lot of people like this game. It's very, very popular. If you find it, it is a no brainer, 45, 47, 47. He got 91 somehow. That person got 104, but you can see the prices. So like I said, guys, there's 10 games that can make you a lot of money. Hope you guys got some value out of it. Hope you guys took some notes. Hope you guys also paid attention to the sold listings research method, because that is very, very important to any reseller in any niche for any products. Thanks for sticking around, guys. I hope you guys got some value and I will be back very soon with another video.